and welcome to my channel Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang and I am Wolfgang. So my gift to you today is this guided meditation about clearing self-sabotage. Most of my clients experience self-sabotage. It's on the wish list of so many. And well, I myself <laughs> have self-sabotaged me uh, embarrassingly, I have to say. Um, so, you know, I'm not an armchair philosopher um, with this. And um, so um, in my work, I always talk to the high selves all my clients, you know, talk to the high selves of um, their own soul and their higher consciousness, you could say. And um, so I ask the question and they get the answer. And um, so I talk to a lot of high selves. And um, so I will be sharing with you in my guided meditation the insights I gained from that. Of course, we will cover, you know, also what's commonly known about um, self-sabotage. You know, let's start with this and then we go into the more far out aspects, um, you know, um, that are not um, commonly known, you know, that are not part of a common mass consciousness. You know, this is where my efforts are. You know, I'm not um, going to chew over the same stuff that everybody else is doing. You know, just compiling you know, again and again and again. You know, I mean, you've seen, you know, how that works. And I have to say, um, most of my clients, you know, tried everything else, you know, before they come to me. Um, so, um, in general, um, you know, the um, self-sabotage comes from low self-esteem, it's called. Mm -hmm. Um, many times, you know, I would say it's just a negative self-talk, you know, bad habits, you know, in talking, you know, to yourself, the inner dialogue. And let's just be really clear here, you know, it's like, um, I hate it, you know, I cannot do it, you know, I never get that finished in time. And I'm going to screw that up, you know, and saying this loud, you know, makes it even um, stronger. I'd like to have clear, clear, clear this, you know, we don't want um, <laughs> self-sabotage here. Um, but basically, you know, with this kind of attitude, you know, you putting out negative spells. If you have any, any power to your word. You know, you're using it the wrong way. You're using it to self-harm. You know? and, and even if you don't um, think about, you know, that um, words have magic, that they can affect reality, um, you know, every psychologist will agree that, you know, words, you know, um, these uh, thought forms, you know, are connected with uh, negative emotions. You know, negative word, you know, correlate with negative emotions. And, <laughs> um, you know, and we basically contaminating, you know, um, our activities, you know, with these negative emotions. Like, you know, you have negative emotions about doing taxes, for instance. I filed late, it cost me quite a penny. Um, or going to the gym when you all bloated. You know, there are negative emotions attached to this, and especially when you start, you know, saying this to you and in your mind, you know, you're definitely going to have negative emotions and not going to the gym or procrastinate with the taxes, you know. So procrastination in that sense is like getting away from those negative emotions. Ah, manana, let's do it tomorrow, you know, and then there's always another tomorrow. And... Um, sometimes it's just impatience, you know, and I mean, um, you know, a garden, you know, doesn't grow in, <laughs> in a week, you know, or a carrot does not grow in a month, you know, no matter how much you fuss about it. And so certain projects, you know, just need patience, you know, if you want to be, you know, a bodybuilder or a marathon runner or a martial artist or, you know, a good photographer, you know, it takes time. You have to have patience. And if you don't cultivate um, this patience, you know, basically being realistic, you know, I mean, yeah, losing uh, 50 pounds and fat in one week, 
you know, that's an impatient attitude, <laughs> you know, and then give it, you know, or dieting, crash dieting, you know, for two weeks. That's again an impatient, you know, attitude. And, you know, another one is like self-neglect, you know, <laughs> where, um, you know, you can see it in cats and dogs, you know, with their fur, you know, when their fur isn't right, you know, there's something wrong with this animal. You know, um, when they self-neglect. Same with humans. <laughs> as soon as you start self-neglecting, you know, um, there uh, is like a passive, aggressive or other attitude. You know, there's um, something not right. And, um, you know, uh, uh, there can be many reasons for this. You know, um, maybe you don't think of yourself oh, as important, or you have like a martyr complex, or it's your form of humility and self-sacrifice, you know, um, many uh, reasons, you know, uh, to self-neglect. Um, this is something, you know, you have to find, you know, look in your subconscious, and we might just cover this. You know, in the meditation. How about self-criticism? Yeah, you know, some people, you know, when they cuss out loud, you can hear, you know, they're beating themselves up, <laughs> calling themselves bad names. Um, well, how does that make you feel about yourself you know, when you beat yourself up? You know, you definitely, um, even if somebody else is doing it to you, you know, in the, some part of you is going like, ping, you know, uh, I'm not going to cooperate, you know, so here, of course, right away, you know, we start self-sabotaging. Another thing is perfectionism. Mm -hmm. And so some people, you know, when they want to do a video blog, you know, well, it has to be perfect, you know, so everything has to be just perfect, you know, the sound, the microphone, the lights, the backdrop, and they never get that off the ground. You know, there's too many initial resistances there, you know, too impatient again, you know, and, um, you know, wanting it all done. You know? And so if you want perfectionism, that takes a while. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, of course, it's good, you know, to ultimately now, you know, to be able to discriminate, you know, what is, you know, not so good and what is better. Uh, but, um, you know, do not uh, let it stop you. You know, initially, you're not going to be perfect, you know, and who else is perfect? <laughs> Look at all the film stars with hair implants <laughs> and makeup. You know, it's a make-believe world. You know? So don't try to be like this. That's not attainable. All oh, right, you know, and then, of course, self-sabotage, you know, this resistance to change, you know, for so many people. Um, well, if you get that bigger position, you know, you have to get out of bed earlier, <laughs> you know, and uh, always wear a suit and tie, maybe, you know, or just a deep distrust, you know, from from your lifetime. So every time you tried something, it turned out bad, it turned out a disaster, it blew up in your face. And so why would you want to you know, do something. Again, you know, we got to find out, you know, what happened. Maybe ask the inner child, maybe the inner teen, you know, some aspect of you said, mm -hmm. I'm not going to do this. And of course, you know, if you have emotional problems and feel bad, you know, um, self-medication, you know, like drugs and alcohol, you know, uh, they'll go for it. And um, of course, you know, when you are drunk, Mm, you know, it's um, maybe not good for your performance, you know. And uh, when you uh, you know spend all your life force on on drugs and um, not focusing, you know, on what you're supposed to do. I mean, drugs are very yin. You know, your mind goes to place it where it hasn't gone before. You know, whereas when you want to work and get something done, it's very young. You know, you have to focus on you know. Um, uh, particular task, you know, at hand to the exclusions of others. You can't just go brain surgery and then, oh yeah, there's a little kitty there, how cute, you know, and zone off. Mm -hmm. So that's very uh, young and yin. 
And um, of course, then also the big self-sabotage is uh, comfort eating. You know, you feel lonely and start making love to half a gallon of ice cream. And <laughs> <clears throat> um, you know, then the next thing you got to digest this stuff and it's being stored in your body. And, um, you know, of course, then there's also self-injury as such, um, you know, where there is a self-hate or just you know, a cry for help. Sometimes it's a cry for help that people go as far as cutting themselves. Uh, so, um, you know, so this is all the general stuff that people know, and if you didn't know it, you know, great for you. If you already knew it, I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to be thorough here. Uh, yeah, so now what do you need, you know, to <laughs> to break this cycle? You know, you really have to be willing to change. You know? And, I mean, for instance, you know, if it's smoking, you know, if you want to stop smoking, I mean, you really take, it takes a lot of effort, you know, will effort, you know, for months, for months. You know, or to lose weight, you know, and to really change your diet. You know, change in the way you eat every day. You know, this will take a long time. So, you know, um, for me, it was always I had to hit a certain rock bottom. You know, like in smoking, now this is too much. This is disgusting. You know, I smell like an ashtray. I feel crummy. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you point of no return. So I'm really going to, you know, <laughs> put a lot of energy into this, you know, to quit this. So, um, you know, sometimes it needs this long-term determination, you know, and uh, you have to, you know, really screw up badly, you know, before you get that together. You know, this is important that you time this right. And if you start, um, you know, trying to break a bad habit, um, just because uh, you feel like it's that's not probably not gonna last, you know. So you really need, you know, really strong intent, you know, that you maintain. Mm -hmm. And of course, you also have to identify triggers. Yeah, like you know, whenever I drink with my friends, you know, I pass out, <laughs> you know, and set realistic goals. And again, you know, you don't lose uh, 50 pounds, you know, over a weekend, you know, uh, <laughs> unless you're British. And, um, you know, and, uh, it takes time, you know, you have to investigate to develop um, positive habits. You know, you, you have to get off your butt and take responsible for your life. You know, and sometimes you need support, you know, ask somebody that has done it or go to a professional. Mm -hmm. All right, so, um, but there is a lot of stuff, you know, that people do not consider, you know, and that's where I come in. And, you know, if you have tried all the other things and failed, well, <laughs> you may try um, my message. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, according to my opinion, you know, what I have discovered, you know, in all these past life regressions or in talking to high selves about current life conditionings, you know, um, there's definitely always the fear of getting hurt, you know. So most individuals like to experience, you know, trauma and pain in relationships. You know, the more you love, the more you are invested with somebody. You know, the um, harder it hits you, you know, when, you know, there is betrayal or loneliness afterwards, you know, or you're being cheated on. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, this kind of fear of this, you know, have if you have gone like three, four times through the ringer in your life, you know, you might want to stay to, you know, self-sabotage, you know, whenever you get too close to somebody and run away. Mm, I've seen it a lot, um, you know, with people happening. And um, then there is, of course, you know, this kind of low self-esteem, you know, where people um, commit a romantic self-sabotage, um, you know, and... Um, where you have to overcome, you know, the, that you're fearing of inferiority, 
you know? There is this uh, wonderful other person and you think you're not good enough and you're not yourself. In my opinion, low self-esteem comes from the lack of the presence of your high self. You know, when you're comfortable and you don't want to impress anybody and you don't feel judged, maybe your high self, you know, can step into yourself, you know, and then you are your real self. And then, you know, you're probably the most charming, <laughs> best person, you know, you can be. And this always happens to me. You know, uh, most of my uh, girlfriends, you know, that I kind of met, um, I did not think about anything romantic. <laughs> I mean, didn't cross my mind. I was just, you know, my sweet self. I didn't give a shit. <laughs> And uh, yeah, maybe a few times alcohol was involved or I just didn't consider. You know? I thought me out of my league or whatever, you know. And, you know, this is when I was myself. And... Mm -hmm. um, so um, very important mm -hmm. um, then again you know the fear of success that changes you know your life you know, discomfort from this um, let's say you know if you get that promotion you know um, you can't just you know keep calling on sick mm -hmm. and you have to again clear up your act you know and sometimes we don't want to do that plus changes very very um, stressful mm -hmm. i mean there is a huge suicide rate you know about lottery winners you know? suddenly you got all this money and your life changes super fast and you know they can't take it you know they can't take it so you know um changes is quite a thing quite a stress mm -hmm. and well, of course you know some people <laughs> Have um, you know, cogniz uh, what's this? Um, cognitive dissonance. You know, there's two things that do not go together. Helena, like water and oil, would be. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be famous, you know, and have a leisurely lifestyle, well, um, you know, that may not work together. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, the, those people that are famous, you know, they dedicate a lot of time and effort to this. And, you know, many times um, this time has to be taken away from the loved ones, you know, or the extra snooze, you know, see, so these are people that are very, generally very self-disciplined. And, you know, another self-sabotage, you know, that I have seen a lot, you know, is the need to be in control. And I call this different, you know, I call this the drama queen syndrome. Drama Queen Syndrome. You know, if you wait to the last minute, you know, to pay your taxes or to make it to this super important appointment or to get your um, driver's license <laughs> renewed at the DMV, you know, um, you have driving with an expired license, you know, yeah, you got a uh, drama. You know, or having that important shipment you know, coming late and you have to chase to make it to the Federal Express store. You know? Or, you know, that creates some drama. And, you know, some people, you know, thrive on that. It makes life more interesting. And, well, um, also, now, what's the opposite, you know, of self-sabotage? Well, it's considered self-care. Now, self-care could also be considered, you know, going to the spa, you know, and getting a massage and taking hot baths with Epsom salt and surround sound, you know, systems, um, you know, um, but that's maybe a materialistic um, thing, you know, um, just in the physical. I think it's important, you know, to do so. No, but um, self-care is more like a self-love, you know, not selfishness or egotism or narcissism. Like, um, it's like, oh my God, you know, take some bee pollen, you know, have the good stuff, have the raw honey, you know, have the good yogurt, you know, and, um, you know, work out, stretch yourself out with yoga, you know, take some good vitamins, you know, be out in nature. You know, hang out with the dark, you know, just smile at the neighbors, you know, cut the joke if you're in the line, if you can. You know, have a, have a good time. 
you know, this is self-nurturing. Be loyal to yourself. You know, don't sacrifice, you know, yourself for others, you know, if you don't feel like it, you know. Um, very, very important. Um, now, programming, <laughs> you know, from childhood, you know, definitely leads to very limiting, you know, beliefs about yourself, you know, and your self -worth. I mean, let's admit it, you know, as kids, we don't know that much. And we are not streetwise, you know, and everybody else seems to be smarter than us. Mm -hmm. And so we take, you know, um, whatever is being said, you know, as, well, as gospel value, you know. So when somebody says you're a bad boy or bad girl, um, you know, yeah, we, we think so, you know, we develop guilt. Mm -hmm. Now, it gets really bad, you know, if you get abused, you know, physically, you know, slapped around, mm -hmm, punished, you know, or yelled at, you know, this goes right into the subconscious, you know, and is being believed in the subconscious, you know, and you now what are those lines, you know, and then we repeat them in our mind as the negative self-talk. You know, you are so stupid, you know, and you can't get anything right. You know, love your neighbor like yourself. <laughs> we can't take you anywhere. <laughs> you will never amount to anything. <laughs> you are such a loser. <laughs> you know, you are good for nothing, you know, and you are the best argument for an abortion. So, if there ever was one. Um, so, um, you know, these things have to be cleared. You know, have to deal with the inner child and clear this trauma. If you want to be as thorough. And, um, well, of course, you know, let's go to the bad habits, you know, that makes you self-sabotage. You know, excessive, uncontrollable drinking. Uh, drinking? <laughs> drinking. Also, maybe gambling or porn addiction, you know, a lot of life force, a lot of attention, a lot of time can be wasted on this. And, um, you know, this is, uh, you know, something you have to get uh, control of. Now, this is just, again, the common stuff. Now, let's go to the woo-woo side. Now, um... If you studied trance surfing, you know, which is kind of a way of looking at life and interpreting life, um, they talk about the pendulum effect. Now, um, I will give you, you know, an example of the pendulum effect. So once um, I went to a weekend intensive in, in Siddha yoga, you know, eating brown rice, super healthy food. Actually, I got prasad in there too. And uh, meditating for two days, you know, got a um, Shakti part, um, you know, cruising really, really high. You know? um, I come home, you know, next thing is um, on the party, you know, and I look at myself. And in my right hand, I have half a bottle of whiskey. In my left hand, I have a long, you know, classically baked, you know, white bread. I'm doing a fertility dance, you know, with a girlfriend of a guy, you know, that's afraid <laughs> of me, afraid to confront me. You know, so I completely went from high vibration, you know, to the opposite. So I balanced everything out, whatever I had gained, you know, through my tapasya. <laughs> means renunciation, you know, I had squandered, I mean, I had a great time, you know, and all this life was, you know, I definitely partied there like there was no tomorrow, you know, without hangover, but then I was back to normal. So that's called the pendulum effect, you know, so the more you push into one direction, the pendulum, you know, the more it's kind of pushing back and wanting to go on this, you know. Um, every time you're dealing with diet, you know, the more you fast, you know, the more you want to pick out afterwards. You know, the, the Muslims, you know, Ramadan, you know, and nobody's gorging themselves more than in Ramadan at night. 
So, um, you know, let's consider the pendulum effect. So, you know, the more extreme you go into one direction, you know, the more the pressure is going to go to the other. You know, so when you're overachieving, you know, you're definitely going to have a, a lot of counter activity. Mm -hmm. Now, there is something else, you know, and that is, um, you know, when your inner child or your inner teens are neglected, you know, and not part of your life anymore. Um, you know, let me just tell you, uh, if your inner child or your inner teen are not happy, the adult isn't happy either. You know, it's like having, you know, some pissed teenager in a corner spreading piss mist. You know? uh, <laughs> doesn't matter whether you have this um, big Mercedes, you know, or the muscle car. You know, or the great body, you know, and if your inner child and your inner teen, you know, are not having fun, if there's no playfulness, if there's no having fun with your friends, you know, um, you're not going to be fulfilled. You know, so these little guys, they can really screw up your life. Mm -hmm. And so we will also be checking in with those. You know? And um, many times, you know, um, they wanted something in life, you know, they had a dream, you know, and, um, you know, now you have a car, you have a job, you know, and so you can afford, you know, much of those dreams, you know, why not indulge the little ones, you know, um, I mean, nothing self-destructive, but hey, if you can do it, you know, make them happy, see, you know, how this works for you. Mm -hmm. Now, let's uh, go even deeper into the who. You know? And so, uh, past lifetimes. You know, I don't even argue with you whether there are past lifetimes or not. You know, that's, uh, I don't care. <laughs> you know? I mean, if you think there are no things as past lifetimes, well, uh, maybe you, in this guided meditation, you think you can deal with your subconscious. You know? Uh, but in my reality, you know, past lifetimes are there, you know, and I mean, yeah, big time. Mm -hmm. And in mean, all the really mystic traditions, you know, now that they are there. So anyhow, um, you know, many aspects of us have been traumatized, you know, when they were successful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, you know, I go to those lifetimes when there was trauma. You know, that's my job. I'm the cleaner. You know? Uh, where people got cursed, stabbed, <laughs> uh, sacrificed, and so on. So, um, I'm like the ambulance, you know, that picks up the pieces and, you know, gets it all, you know, um, gets the karma cleared, etc. Gets the curses cleared. I mean, I asked other beings to do so. But anyhow, so, you know, when you are in power, um, you know, you get poisoned, so many pharaohs and queens and concubines, you know, you got poisons, or you get assassinated. Mm -hmm. I mean, so many kings again, and or abducted. And, and many times um, abduction was also um, done in non-human bodies and in um, by non-human beings, you know, very, very woo. But, um, you know, when you were in a position of power, um, most likely in that lifetime, you know, you also came under the influence of black magic. That was black magic was used against you. Or, you know, you got your power through black magic, you know, which, you know, you got some contracts open with those guys. You know, so they you know, have some favors they can call in from you. You should be... You know, knowledgeable of that, and also, <laughs> you know, most of the time, even if you're squeaky clean, you know, which I doubt, <laughs> because, you know, we have to walk the light and the dark path, you know, this is, you know, free will decision. Mm -hmm. Our ancestors definitely, you know, many of them just screwed up big times, they were slavers, and, you know, um, warlords and other nasty stuff, or black magicians, for sure. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, uh, 
So lots of curses and spells on those. And then, you know, some of you died in robbery, you know, or were killed and abused, you know, because of your wealth. You know, the poor people don't get killed for that kind of reason. They get killed for other reasons. <laughs> so um, these ghosts, you know, I mean, if you die a traumatic death like this, they don't go to heaven. You know, they're stuck in that pain or they want revenge or protect, you know, other loved ones. They stay back in the astral. And, um, no, um, you know, there are also aspects of other beings, you know, that um, prevent your success. You know, they have a belief system, you know, that is, poverty is like a virtue. You know, like Francis of Assisi, you know, big renunciant, you know. Oh my God, he was worshipping poverty like a goddess, you know, that creates humility in you. <laughs> you know, makes you surrender to God, you know, living in the moment because you never know what's going to feed you the next time. You know? um, but of course, there are also huge drawbacks to extreme poverty. Anyhow, um, so there are like um, nuns and monks and other fanatics. <laughs> On the astral plane, sometimes, and you know, spiritual masters and um, or superiors, and sometimes it's from our own incarnations or from our ancestors. Yeah, just uh, two days ago, you know, there was um, this ex spiritual master <laughs> browbeating the you know, my client all the time, you know, this really outmoded you know, understanding, anyhow. Um, so these, you know can be a part of this. And uh, then there is, um, <laughs> uh, in some of you, you know, um, when past lifetimes, or maybe even in this lifetime, you know, have so much guilt, you know, um, probably from abusing success, you know, um, that they, uh, you know, feel that they don't deserve success. Mm -hmm. So either, you know, they abused it or they had huge failures, you know, huge failures in past lifetimes. I mean, whether they were guards, you know, bodyguards or guarding a city and they got, you know, um, stabbed from behind, um, you know, they don't want responsibility sometimes then because, of course, bad things happen to the place, to the town, to the persons they were guarding. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, um, armies, you know, or companies, you know, went down the hill. I mean, or ships. Uh, <laughs> and sometimes this go easy, it goes even, you know, um, cosmic. Now, another form of success is, of course, you know, um, where you become an inventor. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, you know, something new, you know, and every time, you know, you stick out, you know, you become a target, you know, of the status quo, you know. I mean, look at Copernicus, <laughs> you know, so how he got squashed, you know, and as him, you know, so many inventors, you know, scholars, healers, and free thinkers, you know, when they went public, yeah, you know, the, um, no, I don't even want to talk about it. You know, um, scientists disappearing here. Um, so let's just, um, you know, go into the Wu side and go under. Mm -hmm. So make yourself comfortable. And while you're doing so, you know, thanks for giving me a thumbs up. You know, taking the few seconds and sharing, you know, this video or your experiences, you know, with us. Mm -hmm. If you're new to this channel, you know, please make sure you subscribe, you know, and ring that bell so you get notified from new releases. You know, only 10% of my, you know, subscribers, you know, get notified. It's quite a waste. Mm -hmm. And also now that I do personal Skypes and Zoom sessions, you know, um, if you're interested. So, no driving now, um, the uh, guided meditation is going to really uh, space you out. <laughs> and it would be very, very dangerous to drive, you know, do something else. You know? And uh, now, um, close your eyes. Okay. 
For now, um, if you're laying down, just you know, take a deep, relaxing breath and imagine that all your tension on the axle just sinks you know, through the bed, you know, into the earth, you know, where these tensions can be recycled by the earth. Mm -hmm. And if you're sitting on an office chair, um, just imagine that you're pulling the earth love on the inhale, you know, into your whole body and on the exhale, just send your love. Almost all the tension deep into the earth. Mm -hmm. Smile and breathe deeply. And while smiling, you know, we ask Absolute Source and the angels of love and light and our spirit guides mm -hmm. to make sure that everything that happens in and from this meditation here is going to be for the highest good. In divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. And I also ask that people that need this and can benefit from this meditation will find this meditation on YouTube and listen to it, you know, whenever it's good for them. We ask that their high selves be informed that this is available and give yourself permission, you know, to do so whenever it's for the highest good for you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Make sure you agree. You know, so you are under the protection. Mm -hmm. And now again smile and imagine you laying down or sitting up. Mm -hmm. That on the inhale you pull that love from the center of the earth into your whole body. And you're sitting all the way up to the head. Mm -hmm. Smile. Deep breathing all the way in and all the way out. You want to hear the air flowing through your nostrils. You want to smile like an Indian, you know, no tough face tots Mother Earth, like sweet lovey dovey smiling. Even if you're a street fighter. And we ask our spirit guides and the earth goddess to clear as many resistances as there are between her and us, you know, in our grounding cords and our connection with our earth star chakras as possible right now, without us having to look at the details. So this would be trauma. Mm -hmm. from this and other lifetimes. This could be black magic implants mm -hmm. and um, technologies, dark technologies, mm -hmm. or, um, you know, um, vows or curses, mm -hmm. uh, any types of dark forms or emotions or energies. So we like to have this cleared now as much as possible. Also any parasites. Mm -hmm. And cords and dark portals. Amen, amen, amen. And smile and keep on breathing. Mm -hmm. It takes about five seconds to kick in now. Oh, yeah, should be kicking in now. Deep inhale and all the way out. Mm -hmm. And imagine that on this breath that you're sending back and forth, you know, the love is traveling. And you can only turn this chi into love when you smile. Mm -hmm. And whatever you visualize or feel, you know, is actually manifest on the astral plane. So this will let you know how this works. And um, when you did this right, probably your, both of your arms start to tingle. That was always a good sign that you were on the next higher level of energy. And for some of you, um, there's also a tingling in your back, mm -hmm. maybe even going all the way up to the head. Um, you know, so just focus on the inhale, you know, focus on pulling that chi 
right in the center of your spine up. Don't let it divert a little bit to the left or right. Now keep it right, you know, where the nerve strands would be you know, in your spine. Just, you know, flush your nerve strands with this chi you're pulling up from the earth goddess all the way into the head. And then on the exhale, you know, push it down all the way into the earth. This is like scrubbing your spinal cord, you know, with a bottle brush. Smile and breathe. You can hear the air flowing through your nostril, yes. And now we ask the spirit guides and the earth goddess to also remove from us all the dark thought forms that we picked up from others. You know, that were sent to us from others, well, family members, co-workers, people that we share traffic with. Um, many of them, you know, don't think too kindly of us. Um, sometimes it's just jealousy and envy, you know, but everybody you know, uh, most of the time, you know, it's in a negative mindset and uh, very critical. Um, you know, most of the time it's not good stuff and sometimes we also pick up dark stuff from others voluntarily. You know, they sing their blues to us and feel better, we feel worse. So we ask that to be cleared now too. Amen, amen, amen. And where our thought forms are with others, we like to have first clear too. Mm -hmm. Wherever it's not for the highest good, to clear those. Um, um, um. And wherever our energies are still with other people and not being used for the highest good anymore, we like to have those purified and returned to us for the highest good now. Um, um, um. Smile, make sure you agree with us. Yeah, this should be coming in now. Mm -hmm. And now make sure you have your tongue at the palate, and that you smile and we approach Milky Way Galaxy. Just imagine that Milky Way Galaxy is about where the ceiling is, or the wall, <laughs> about six feet, two meters, you know, above your head. And just pull her love into yourself, into your whole body, all the way to your toes, to your heels, to your fingertips, deep in here. And then on the exhale, send your love with your breath all the way to the ceiling, to the Milky Way galaxy, smile, and you know, start breathing back and forth. I call this running love. Mm -hmm. The more you smile, you know, the sweeter the love. And the more you breathe, the stronger the chi. So with your breath, you adjust the power. With your mouth, you adjust the sweetness. And we ask the spirit guides and Milky Way Galaxy to also clear any blocks and resistances between her and us. You know, any reverse crowns, crown of thorns, any plates, astral plates. These are all, you know, curses, weapons, mm -hmm. any uh, voodoo magic, you know, type magic, you know, with dolls. Mm -hmm any wound casting, you know, any even vows, um, especially curses to disconnect and implants and technologies that separate us from our high self, that block our crown chakras. We like to have cleared also any contracts that would allow these things. Amen, amen, amen. Make sure you agree with this. and smile and breathe back and forth mm -hmm. again scrubbing 
your connection with the heavens. And you want to hear the air flow through your nostrils. Mm -hmm. Try to keep your mouth closed unless you are out in nature. And there are no flies around. And we ask for an outpouring of love and light, you know, the waters of life, to come down on us. Amen. Mm -hmm. Smile, and you might just feel, you know, this flow of energy coming over and through you. Mm -hmm. Welcoming the smile. And of course, we like to be blessed, you know, so that this um, guided meditation, you know, clears all the self-sabotage that's still with us. Um, um, um. And now imagine you're pulling in the love and light from heaven and earth simultaneously into your heart. And just focus on the inhale. This would be just like a rebirthing breath. In case you know what that is. But focus, you know, on pulling them heaven and earth love simultaneously into your heart. Mm -hmm. And smile, 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 smile. Mm -hmm. Just keep pulling it in and notice what happens. Mm -hmm. And those, my clients, that know how to connect to source through the portal in the heart, you want to do so now. Amen. Just focus on nourishing yourself with this love. And smile. Mm. And now your divine aspect, your most divine aspect that you can feel in your body, you know, to manifest to you as you become aware of it, it's just a shift in consciousness, they're always there, you're just not aware of it. Mm -hmm. There we go, you know, you feel more radiant if you connect with them. Mm -hmm. And if you're sitting up, they probably want to adjust your spine a little bit, you know, so just Move ahead, just go along. Mm -hmm. And smile. Mm -hmm. So first thing is the yes or no induction. So a yes would be a flow of energy from the heart to the head, and it would feel like this. And to know would be like a flow from the heart to the feet, and it would feel like this. Mm -hmm. Now ask your high self to give you a really strong yes. Amen. And now ask your high self to give you a really strong no. Now, Amen. Mm -hmm. So let's ask for how much of your self-sabotage is due to low self-esteem. How many percent? And how much of your self-sabotage is due to negative self-talk? You know, it's a bad habit, like I hate it, I cannot do it. 
you know, I was screwed up and stuff like that. How much? And uh, how much of your self-sabotage is, you know, due to negative emotions, you know, that are connected to certain activities like going to work, doing your taxes, going to the gym, cooking, you know, things like that. And how many percent of your self-sabotage are due to procrastination? And how much of your self-sabotage is Due to your impatience, will you want to have it done yesterday? And how much of your self-sabotage is due to self-neglect and feelings of martyrdom? How much of your self-sabotage is due to self-criticism? And how much of your self-sabotage is due to perfectionism? much of your self-sabotage is due to resistance to change? And how much of your self-sabotage is due to distrust? You know, too many failures in this or past lifetime. And let's face it, how much of your self-sabotage is due to self-medications with drugs or alcohol? And how much of your self-sabotage is due to comfort eating? And how much of your self-sabotage is due to like things like demon tattoos or other negative tattoos on your body? And how much of your self-sabotage is due to spells and curses? And how much of your self-sabotage is due to vows, you know, like never to be successful or something like that? And how much is your self-sabotage due to ghosts? And how much is your self-sabotage due to other spirits? You know, this could be gnomes, fairies, um, little demoniac ones. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Now let's call all the aspects of our soul that are willing to change. And we ask them to please change you know, under the instructions and guidance of our High Self that is connected to Source. Amen. And now we also call in all the aspects of ourself. You know, this could be past lifetime, parallel lifetimes, the aspects from this lifetime that got stuck somehow. You know, all those aspects that are set in their ways, you know, even if it costs us dearly, you know, that are exhibiting dysfunctional behavior, we ask those to come forward. We ask that they are pleased brought to the Arcturian love healing and ascension temples and be treated there now. Amen, amen, amen. Mm -hmm. They know what to do. We ask them that they be given divine guidance you know, into a new perspective. And just smile, you know, and send them source love or heaven and earth love. This means you take as much love from source or heaven and earth on the inhale and on the exhale you send this love to those that are being transmuted now. Because nothing helps more the transmutation than love. And actually, um, we may even ask Lord Shiva, you know, um, to transmute these resistances and obstacles. There's probably a lot of them. Now a big thing for us is, you know, the self-sabotage when we like somebody. So let's just see, um, are there ghosts that doing this for us, yes or no? So we like to have those <laughs> sent for clearing. Um, are there any vows and promises? You know, that we did to others, you know, that block us you know, from having a decent relationship with somebody else, yes or no. And, you know, we like to have those unnecessary vows and promises, you know, that are useless nowadays in the face of eternity. We like to have those also clear, you know, as long as it's for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benign outcomes. Um, are there any curses interfering, you know, with your love life and making you self-sabotage, yes or no? Pretty sure you got there. Some, either from ancestors or through your own personal behavior. So we like to have those cleared pretty please by the mercy of source. Amen. And where we cursed others, we like to have that clear too. Amen. 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 It's always a good thing to clear curses onto others. Well, just ask, you know, how many curses, you know, are affecting or have been affecting your love life negatively. Now, how much love life sabotage is there due to fear of getting hurt?
So whatever trauma is still there, you know, getting hurt in relationships, it goes throughout this, we like to have them also help send. Um, um, um. And how much of romantic, you know, even business, you know, um, self-sabotage is due to low self-esteem. And whatever blocks we have, you know, thoughts manifesting our high self and being ourselves, we like to have those cleared now as much as possible. Amen, amen, amen. And how much of your self-sabotage is due to fear of success and the changes it will bring into your life. You know, like the fear or the discomfort of change. Hmm? How about uh, cognitive dissonance, you know, want to be lazy and rich at the same time? And we ask that we be shown <laughs> where it is and help us clear this pretty please. Um, um, See how much are you actually a drama queen that needs to drama and control, you know, to make life more exciting and cuts it too close. Yeah, we like to have that trauma cleared and you know, reprogrammed to some, you know, more benevolent. Um, um, um. So the opposite of self-sabotage is self-care. So let us see, um, you know, how about nature? Um, should you be more in nature, yes or no? Mm -hmm. and we ask that we be shown the beauty of nature, and be drawn into nature, you know, as a natural thing for us. You know, without resistances. Amen, amen, amen. And how much are you self-sabotaging yourself through food? Mm -hmm. So, you know, we asked our high self and spirit guides, you know, to heal those aspects, you know, that uh, um, you know, self-medicating through food. And we ask that we be inspired, you know, to become knowledgeable and just, you know, habituated and enjoying, you know, the best, highest vibrational food for our particular body type and emotional type. Amen, amen, amen. Now, how much um, are you sabotaging, you know, due to not exercising enough or not right? And again, we asked our spirit guides and our high self to clear all the trauma, you know, that we're still having from over-exercise, from hurting ourselves, from being forced to exercise, you know, in past lifetimes. Mm, from shame and guilt and negative body image mm -hmm. and help us to have fun, you know, and to find exercises, you know, whether it's a style, you know, gym style, yoga style, you know, cross country swimming, you know, that is most suitable for you, mm -hmm. into your inner child and into your inner teen and also for your body type and your mood. Mm -hmm. So we have fun. You know, we also ask that you 
that we have nice company you know, in, in the exercise. Have fun. Um, and let's see how much of your self-sabotage is coming from being in a negative environment. You know, or maybe you are next to a slaughterhouse or to a graveyard or you know, your co-worker is a mass murderer and you know, just having bad vibes. Um, you know, or you are um, you're a hoarder and just, you know, have a pathway from your computer desk to the bathroom. So let's see how much, you know, is your environment making you a self-saboteur. And let's have this clear, you know, we asked that, you know, um, positive forces start moving into our environment, so we start clearing this properly. You know, if you have stacks of newspapers, you know, <laughs> that they just melt away. Amen, amen, amen. Now, how much is your self-sabotage due to programming from early childhood? You know, that leads to limiting beliefs about your self-worth. You know, especially abuse like, you're so stupid, you can't get anything right, we can't take you anywhere, you never amount to anything in your life, you're such a loser, you're good for nothing, you are the best argument for abortion, if there ever was one. So how much are you programmed by limiting beliefs about your self-worth? How about your bad habits like excessive and uncontrollable drinking, gambling, porn addiction, etc.? Let's ask about that. And how much is your self-sabotage due to a pendulum swing? You know, you're too successful and then, you know, there's um, counter pressure there. Let's see how much is it affected by that effect. Sometimes we're just balancing out the extremes, right? Let's ask, is there a certain type of self-sabotage from your inner child, yes or no? And what is it? Is there self-sabotage from your inner teen, yes or no? Is there self-sabotage from another aspect, maybe of your adulthood, yes or no? And who is it? So now let's go a little bit more woo here. Mm -hmm. Are there any ghosts that are making you self-sabotage? Yes or no? Uh-huh, and how many about? Mm -hmm. 
uh, any of those, you know, um, we're in high position and got poison assassinated, abducted or something like that. Yes or no. Mm -hmm. Some of them, you know, died of robbery, you know, or because other people wanted their wealth or success. Yes or no. And how many of them had past life aspects? And how many had a belief system that poverty is a virtue? You know, like monks and renunciants, religious fanatics, anybody there? How many? Are there any ghosts that um, feel that, you know, you do not deserve success because you screwed up in past lifetimes and created too much damage? Yes or no? And are there some ghosts or, you know, commitments, you know, from aspects of us? that we try to be cool little nuns and monks and vow to do martyrdom, taking the sins of the worlds onto their showers or all kinds of bodhisattva vows, yes or no. Uh -huh. And are there any discarnates, you know, of you um, that became the target of the status quo and got squashed like Copernicus, you know, or burned as heretics or dark witches, you know, like inventors, scholars, healers, free thinkers, right, when they went public, yes or no. And are there also any ghosts or parasites? You know, other entities, programs or curses from old enemies that make you self-sabotage, yes or no. Mm -hmm. Now, pay attention, you know, we're going to be going for a clearing, make sure you agree with this, you know, all the time. You know, and it takes about at least five seconds before the results, you know, become noticeable in your aura. Now we ask our ascension teams, you know, beings of love and light, you know, to please bring those that are stuck to, to all kinds of trauma, you know, around uh, success, you know, spirits or ghosts of us or from our bloodlines or ancestors. Please bring those to the Arturian love healing and ascension temples and reunite them there with lost loved ones that are still stuck on the astral planes, mm, like lost baby spirits, you know, sweethearts, you know, beloved grannies and mothers, even pets. And bathe them there in the unconditional love of souls. And also liberate any discarnates, you know, that got stuck in a false light heaven. And have them join there too. And then also show them the higher as well as the hidden aspects of the incarnations. What was karma? what was volunteered for, to learn as a lesson, and what was sabotaged by the dark side, and then help them with forgiveness. And once they forgive and ask for forgiveness, we ask Absolute Source to please, 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 also make all the hidden stuff visible 
you know, and then remove any cloaking spells and technologies, any camouflage, expose what was trickery, misdirection, hidden agendas or legalese fine prints, you know, and have any offenders brought to the by justice. Then clear also any entanglements, you know, that binds them like trauma, vows, curses, bindings, love spells or other technologies, you know, sometimes crazy spells, glamours, you know, clear deals, promises, contracts, candle magic, you know, black magic, any forms of bombs, booby traps, claws, Hooks, cords, chains, shackles, crown of thorns, crucifixion implants, and everything else that was not mentioned but needs to leave our space at this time. Amen, amen, amen. Also remove any hitchhiking entities that have attached to us. and return any valuable energies that got stolen from us or that we squandered away in self-sabotage. Um, um. And now in your mind, you know, um, think along, you know, with me I'm gonna do the Ho'oponopono pono. You know, to those that got hurt, you know, from our self-sabotage, you know, in this and past lifetimes. So this can be to yourself or to others. Mm -hmm. And smile, you know, and your focus on projecting love, you know, from source of heaven and earth, you know, in front of you to those that you apologize to. Mm -hmm. So this is to all that got hurt you know, by us in self or other self. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for all the hurt. I'm so sorry for all the pain. I'm so sorry for all the damage. I'm so sorry for all the wasted timelines and lifetimes, it seems. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. For all the mistakes, for all the sabotage, all the self-sabotage. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. 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 I forgive you too. I forgive you. I forgive you for the things you did. I forgive you. 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 Ultimately, on the higher dimensions, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Just 
for the presence of our expert healing teams, our spirit guides, and the other helpers that are approved by High Self, that act for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outpost, and to please transmute any physical, astral, emotional, mental, and spiritual trauma that causes us to self-sabotage to healing energy and upgrade us to our divine blueprints as much as possible now. Um, and if you're laying down and if you want to go to sleep, you know, you will just continue in the deepest, most relaxed sleep you had in a long time. As you meet with your spirit guides and get charged up by the love and updated mm -hmm. and then wake up at the perfect time, fully rested and enthusiastic mm -hmm. for life, mm -hmm. you task at hand. Mm -hmm. And now we ask that whatever energies um, of us that can return to us now, the soul aspects and fragments that can reunite with us now due to the purification, return to us now, and then be perfectly integrated into the different subtle bodies, and that we be upgraded and updated to the latest and best divine blueprint for us according to our high self. Uh, and once updated, mm -hmm. then um, synergize everything and then bring it to the optimal energy levels. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then surround us in all the different aspects of our being, like twin flames, parallel timelines, with this super powerful aura of love and light of source that can only be penetrated by positive intent and that transmutes all the darkness within us and around us without any trouble. This great ease and makes us feel complete comfortable and connected with source. And please maintain this Amen, Amen, Amen. And one, two, three, you're fully grounded now back in vacant day consciousness. Amen. Hello, welcome back. Mm -hmm. I hope you had a nice trip. You're deeply relaxed now. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah, so um, please share your experiences you know, and uh, give me a thumbs up uh, and read um, you know, all your messages and I will answer the intelligence questions. <laughs> and I do personal Zoom and Skype sessions. My prices are reasonable. The information is you know, in the description. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.